Hello and welcome to uh, some more experimentation with uh, the Raspberry Pi. So this is brought about because I found this app that allowed me to simulate a peripheral and in particular the battery uh, service. So if we go and look on the developer portal and look down at services we can see that there is a battery service uh, here, so just down here and you'll hear UUIDs talked about and as you can see this one has a 180F remember that we'll look at that later so if we look at the details of the battery service a service is really just a way of grouping together lots of uh, characteristics so this bit is the bit that we care about service characteristics if we scroll down we can see that actually there's only one characteristic for the battery service called the battery level and rather unsurprisingly this just reports how charged the battery is between 100 and 0 percent so there's uh, the detail here but the bit that we really care about is that it goes from 0 to 100 there we go 100 so if we go over and look on the Raspberry Pi we're going to use the bluesy uh, command line tool called uh, Bluetooth CTL so we can uh, run that up and it will tell us that we have an adapter or a controller in there but uh, we can do help and find out all of the commands and show will tell us uh, about our adapter so we've called it Raspberry Pi rather helpfully and uh, we can see that it says powered yes so that looks all good for us to go off and try and find out the information that the app is going to be sending us. So if we go and fire up the BLE SIM app and choose the battery service, this is now broadcasting. So if we go over and do a scan, we can see that it's actually the Nexus 5X, so we can turn that off. And what we're going to do uh, now is uh, well yeah let's just check the version that we're running so this is bluesy 5.6 uh, so it's quite a recent and not the default for uh, Jesse on the Raspberry Pi so we do our help uh, functions again uh, we can get info about our uh, our device info and then we go back up here and get our MAC address uh, so it's that number looking there so copy that paste it down run and you can see it reports about it and the interesting thing is that there's a battery service there and we see our 180F as well in the UUID so let's try and connect to that and it's saying connect, connection successful and the uh, command line tool reports lots of characteristics uh, and information about it but we're actually going to uh, list the attributes um, and look at this and we can see that there is a battery level characteristic so let's make that our active uh, characteristic so say select attribute, attribute and then uh, this big long path here which is our characteristic so that's now our active characteristic so over here there's a very uh, bad shot but we can see it says 50 uh, so we can do a read of that characteristic and it reports 32 uh, so maybe not the number we were expecting but that's in hex so we can go over to the math maths fun uh, website and type in 32 and you can see that it'll turn it into decimal and it is 50 so indeed it is the right number so let's go back to our app and uh, change the value so uh, we change that to 25 so if we do a read again now uh, we can see it's reporting hex 19 so go over here and do that and that's 25 so again that's the uh, the right number excellent so rather than keep doing reads we can get it to notify us when the peripheral or the app in this case has changed 
So if we go over to the app and press the notify uh, button, when we go back here we can see that it's already updated us with that uh, OX19. So just to prove this, let's change the value here. Delete that one and change to 75. Ooh. 75, there we go. And hit notify. When we go back over here, we can see we now have 4B and go to our trusty website again, 4B. And you can see that's 75, so we've got the right right number again. Final time, we'll go back to the app. We've uh, used it, the battery's gone down, and our, uh, it's gone down, let's change that to, uh, to 50. And our app notifies us that the level's changed, so it's reporting hex 32. So we go here, 32, yep, uh, and it's 50. Okay, so, there you can see that with uh, the app we can uh, get it to notify us or the peripheral can, can notify us and we can detect that. So let's just notify off and disconnect and that's it. Thank you very much.